Hello YouTube and welcome to my long-term review of my 2011 BMW 1M. Uh, the 1 Series M Coupe was only made one year in 2011. They made 740 copies. Uh, number 740 is actually owned by BMW, so only 739 sold to the public. They came in three colors. This color, which was the most popular, Valencia Orange, they made 309 copies. The second most common color is white. The rarest color is black. Uh, this is stock except for these black grills were added. I also have a full exhaust on this car. Uh, this is an N54 straight six twin turbo engine. I have a, uh, the only modifications I have are an N55 mid pipe. Uh, the original owner did that and then I put on a Borla cat back exhaust. If you're looking for a car that's modern that you can drive as much as you want, very reliable and it'll be worth money one day, I would highly recommend this car. Uh, I think these cars are way undervalued. Though they sold, this is fully loaded with all four options. Though they sold for about 54,000 uh, back in 2011, the only year they were made. You know, this is gonna be a six figure car one day. Uh, you know, the E30 M3 is a legend, but it's, uh, they made 4,000 of them. They're about eight seconds to 60. This car is 4.7, and there's only 740 copies of these cars, and they're really amazing. And if you have to have orange, which I think is the signature car, then you got it down to 309 copies. They all came in stick, so it's no problem finding a manual transmission. None of them have sunroofs. They all come with the uh, M3 suspension and competition package. Again, these black grills were added. That's not the stock grills. Right here, in here, here, here. Uh, they're N54 engines. But uh, this car I bought with 10,000 miles two years ago. Right now it is August of 2016, almost September. Uh, I bought this car in July of 2014. So I had a little, all the interiors are the same. So no matter what color exterior you have, you have this orange stitching. So I bought this car about 24, 25 months ago. I bought it with 10,000 miles and now has 15. I'll show you the engine. And I've had zero problems with this because it's a BMW. It had the four year, 50,000 mile free maintenance. I uh, just finished the free maintenance recently. I think in the spring it was up. Just changed the oil recently. And this car has been super reliable. And I don't think there's a better car for the price. Uh, these cars right now with 15,000 miles, clean cars are probably worth 60 to 65. And I think that's a steal. I mean, this car uh, is way better than buying a new M3, M4. I love my M2, but I would give the nod to this car just because it's got hydraulic steering and it's a little more manic. Uh, it's basically crazy all the time. Where the uh, M2 is a normal car, I've said before, in comfort, it becomes a 1M in, uh, sport mode this car is basically sport mode all the time so maybe not the best daily driver because it's a little bit crazy but uh for a weekend car you can't beat it if i had one drive on a sunday morning and it was this or the m2 i would pick this car so with 740 copies you know this car will be a six-figure car one day this will easily be a hundred hundred fifty thousand dollar car a lot of these cars were tracked heavily because they were great track cars out of the box a lot of them were wrecked Finding a clean one like this, even though this car is probably worth 65 today, 60, 65. I mean, this will be a give it five years, 10 years, this will be a hundred, hundred fifty thousand dollar car. So if you want to get into car collecting or at least cars that'll hold their value, I think this is a great place to stop start. If you buy a uh, you know M3 for 75,000 in three years, it's going to be worth 35,000. You buy this for sixty-five thousand. Three years, it'll probably be worth eighty-five thousand, and going up five thousand a year. That'll cover all your expenses, and they're super reliable cars. We'll continue to do long-term updates on this car. Like I said, uh, the only modifications are a full exhaust. I have an N55 midpipe and a Borla catback exhaust. I'll show, try to show you that. So it sounds great. They're very quiet from the factory. Of course, I kept the stock parts. Uh, for resale. So those are the tips for the boiler exhaust. And again, just an amazing car. Uh, I highly recommend this car. And if you kind of want to get a car that'll hold its value, where you can put some miles on it, you know, you could probably put 
at least 5,000 miles on this car a year. It's really a weekend car. And then, uh, you know, your car will probably go up 5,000 a year in value. So you can't go wrong. So I highly recommend this car. Uh, to me, this is a must buy right now before prices skyrocket on these cars. With the hydraulic steering, manual transmission, uh, no sunroof, uh, you know, these are a collector's car waiting to happen if they're not getting there already. You know, the 993 Turbo that I have went up. Uh, my NSX has went up. This is the next car that's going to go way up in value. The M Coupe, my S54 M Coupe, also has gone way up in value. So this is the next one. The, uh, the 1M in the two years I've had it have stayed at about the same price. Maybe went up $5,000. But this is the next car that's going to explode. So uh, buy one now. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so we can continue to make more videos. Uh, what I'll try to do is I'll put the GoPro on this. I'll make a separate video of a point of view driving this car so you can hear the great sounds that it makes. And the shifter in this car is phenomenal as well. It's basically BMW stock short throw shifter. So if you had your 3 Series, you went to BMW, so give me a short throw shifter, they put in the one from this car. Okay, guys, thanks for subscribing, and uh, we'll do another long-term video soon. Thank you. Look out for the, uh, look for the point of view video for this car as well. Thank you.